Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here. Android M recently got announced at Google I.O. 2015, so I'm going to show you how you can install Android M, the developer preview, on your Nexus device. And I've got my trusty Nexus 5 here. Now this process will wipe your handset completely clean, so make sure you've got a backup of anything important before you begin. Once ready, head on over into your settings, go down to developer options. If you can't see developer options, hit about phone, and then tap build number seven times until it says you are a developer. Then when you go back a step, you should see developer options available. Go in here and select USB debugging, accept the prompt on the screen, and then turn off your device. Once your handset is off, press the power button and the volume down button simultaneously to get into fast boot mode. Then plug in your handset into your computer using the USB lead. If your computer starts to install drivers, just let it finish before you continue. Although I will leave a link down in the description box below to Nexus drivers if you need them. The next step is to install the Android SDK. I've already got it installed on my machine here and you can see I've got a shortcut to it on my desktop. Now there's plenty of material online showing you how you can install the Android SDK and set it up and I'll leave some of the links down to those down in the description box below. Once you've got the Android SDK installed, open it up. So we're going to go into Android SDK Manager and once that populates the screen, there'll be a number of ticks boxes next to these uh, items here. Deselect everything and then just make sure there's a tick only next to Android M and then hit install 10 packages and accept the license here and click install. Now this will take a little bit of time so we'll fast forward through the install process as it's saying here it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. Once you've downloaded all the packages we can X out of the SDK. Next we need to download our Android M image so we're going to head on over to the android developers downloads page and then scroll down and we'll see we've got nexus 5 nexus 6 nexus 9 and the nexus player obviously depending on what nexus you have download that image it's uh, about 570 megabytes in size so it shouldn't take too long except the terms and conditions and hit download once the download completes, locate the file that you've just downloaded. You can see here's mine on my desktop. Now you need to extract this and I'm going to use 7-zip. And it's, uh, this is a completely free application, so I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below if you don't already have it. I'll just bring into shot here what it's extracted. Now this file we need to extract again. So right click on this, again 7-zip and extract here. And again, I'll bring into shot here so you can see what it's extracted. So you can see the process that we've followed. We hit download on the web page. It downloaded this file. We extracted it, which gave us this file. Then we extracted this file and it gave us this folder, which contains all the files that we need. So we're going to select everything, right click and hit copy. Then head on over into wherever you've located or installed your SDK. So I'm going to double click this, then go into SDK then platform tools. Now you'll know you're in the right area if you can see fastboot.exe. So if you're in the right area you'll see this then right click on an empty white space and hit paste. Now if you've already unlocked your bootloader all you need to do now is click this file called flashall.bat and it'll flash the image onto your handset. If you haven't unlocked your bootloader then clicking this file does nothing at all. So I'll go through the steps of unlocking your bootloader if you haven't already done so now. So deselect all the files by clicking on a white space here. Make sure nothing is selected and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then right click on an empty white space and select open command window here. I'll just bring this into shot so you can see it and it looks a little bit cleaner. Now type in fast boot space devices and then hit enter. Now you should see your serial number of your handset and then fast boot. This symbolizes that the phone is talking to the computer A-OK. -okay. If you don't see this, then this means there's a problem with the communication between your handset and your computer, in which case I would suggest trying a different USB port, maybe a different USB cable, as well as reinstalling the drivers. But if you get this far and you can see your serial number on fast boot, you're good to go. So the next thing that we want to type here is fast boot 
space OEM space unlock and then hit enter. Now you'll see three dots within this black dot prompt window here and on the screen of our Nexus 5 we've got unlock bootloader message warning. We know what we're doing so we're going to hit volume up to say yes going to unlock the bootloader and press the power button to select and you'll also notice it says erasing towards the bottom and lock state is now unlocked. Don't need this black dust prompt window anymore so we can get rid of that and the last thing that we need to do is double click this flash all.bat file. I'm going to run it as administrator and then bring it up in the top right so you can see what's going on here. Now no matter what it says on the screen you just let it do its thing no matter how long it takes and the screen of your device should blink on and off as it goes through the various motions but oopsie it says here archive does not contain boot.sig archive does not contain recovery.sig so we'll leave that alone we won't uh, take too much notice just yet until it actually completely fails if it does so so again we'll just leave it be let's do its thing command prompt says finished press any key to continue or to exit even and our device is rebooting over here. Now while the device is rebooting, some of you may have problems where it may come up with error messages saying cannot find system egg at the end, system egg, system.image, uh, or some other variations of the file name. Now, mine finished completely okay and the device is rebooting, but if yours fails, then this is what's actually going on. If you head on over into image, hammerhead, bloody blah, blah, zip, I'm going to open this up here. It's going to have problems locating these image files, the ones ending in .img here. So what I'd recommend you do if yours has problems is copy these to the same area as where you have fastboot.exe. Paste these in here and then what you'll need to do is modify this file flashall.bat. Right click and edit so it pops up here and what we're going to do is I'm going to select absolutely everything on here so control and A and then delete it and then I'll leave this in the description box below for you so this is the modified script now ignore everything beginning with rem these are just comments and everything below I've split it up into a couple of lines for you and you can see the name of the file is here so just if you're going to take this from the video, just pause the video now. And if you're going to type it in manually, just make sure you get the file names correct. Otherwise, it will not work of what you've just copied. So as I say, I'll leave a, a link to this down in the description box below. So you can just copy and paste it if you're a Nexus 5 owner. But remember, any other Nexus owners, just make sure the file names are correct for your particular version. File, save. And you can see what's going on. It's going to individually run each of those files that we've just copied. And then all you simply do is double click that file and then it'll run it. I'm not going to run it because mine has worked okay. So we can disconnect the device from our computer because it's no longer required. Now the first boot up time after you flash your device will always, always take a long time. So no matter how long it takes, five, six, seven minutes, just let it do its thing and leave it be. And finally we get some haptic feedback. It vibrates and goes to the first welcome screen that we have here. I'm just gonna quickly go through. We get a warning here saying this is a preview and some, some things may not even work. So we're gonna skip through most of the setup here just so that we can get into the actual OS. And welcome, got it. Let's turn the brightness up a little bit here so it's a, a little bit easier to see. Oh, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Let's head on over to the app drawer and we now have scrolling down icons instead of swiping left to right. You've got some pinned ones towards the top and if you head on over to our settings about phone, you can see the model number there, Android version M. Now, what does the M do you reckon stands for? Milkshake, marshmallow, mint or mango or even some other wild name that you can think of. Do let me know in the comment section down below. Now, that's how easily you can get Android M, the developer preview on your Nexus device. Now I must stress this is a developer preview so there will be things that will not work, that are buggy. This is just to play around with if you're interested in what's coming. 
as ever any other comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there please like subscribe and tag along on social media at inam thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time